really needing the boom controls on this one anyway. It's in. It's in like sin. Attempt two, attempt three. Someone who wasn't me, Dunk or Kev, broke them. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Good morning, Holly. There we are, we can What a be. That's all already done. Are you bad this? Yeah, we're stuck. Good morning. Let's get that yoke going. There's the drill. It's all finished with. Apart from sunflowers and there's a wee bit of grass to do as well. Just as well there's not a pound signed indicator above it. That'd be a soul destroyer. Here's one of our first year calves. Not much of a calf anymore is it? It's a beast. So it's going away to the slaughterhouse because it's about, it's a, it should be about the weight but we'll see what it comes back as. Five seven five zero seven one. Yeah, O two three. That's us. Two beasts that were bought in, and then that's the first of our calves at the back there. It's a bit of a brute, massive big back end on it. Thick long back. Smashing. We'll see what weight it comes back at. So if you put away an animal at 700 kilo, you're going to get about 400 back, and then of meat that comes off that is maybe 260, 70 ish. Right, Dad's just going to take these away to the slaughterhouse. See how we get on. Oh well. So that's the first of our calves away to the slaughterhouse, so we'll see what he comes back as. He's a big belter, he wasn't off any of our bulls. He was a cow we bought in, in calf, so we don't know what bull he was too, but a big belter of a beast. The rest of them are all looking well, we'll just start rattling through them I think. We're going to keep these for our own butchery, and there's some on the other side, and we've basically got too many at the moment. So they'll get sent off to ABP, and they'll basically end up in ASDA. These are all going to go through Goat Burn Butchery. Born on the farm, fed by barley grown on the farm, their bedding, straw grown on the farm, they go to grass on the farm, protein sources, oil seed rape which is grown on the farm. The only thing we're not doing ourselves is the minerals that they're chomping and any medicine they need if they're ill or they need a bit here, there and everywhere. But I'm pretty chuffed. Day four. I am away to do this field, this field and this field. Kev's okay, just coming in to fill up the fat. He's in the same field as me just now. So this field, there's two flats on either side, hollow in the middle. So I've done the flats up to that ridge and I'm gonna go along and do the rest of that flats until my tank's just, just about empty so I can finish off and do the inside here with an empty tank. Just for traveling along these slopes, don't really want a full tank. Your center of mass increases and it's a bit more treacherous. So if you have an empty tank, center of mass drops a bit and it's a bit safer. Really needing the boom controls on this one anyway. Right in the middle of the hole at the moment. That boom right up. This one's relatively flat, but it changes as I go through here, up and over that mound, and then I go down one again. It's even worse. Nailed it. It's all green. Smashing. Everything's going so smoothly. No hiccups. Ah, oh, short of chemical. Short by two liters. Really annoying. So basically, last field's only getting half dose that we were planning on putting on. Anyway, can't do much about it now. So we'll get the last wee bit spread. Fencers have arrived, um, uh, right there, there's a few of them there, there's guys in a the truck up there, there's a van up the top, so I'm trying not to drive into this ditch. So half the cows and calves are going to go into that field that's getting fenced, um, we've got electric wire around the top, it's neat new grass in it, but uh, there won't be there won't be that dense this year with cows, it'll be more dense next year. Just had a bit of a shocker of an hour, low control valve. Um, which sits just right there. You turn it on um, and it wouldn't go to the flow rate you're looking for, it would go to a really high flow rate. So a bit confused why it was doing that. Stop, tried to fiddle with a few things, sort it out, change the flow rate, make sure it was on auto, and turned it off and on and unplugged things and blah blah blah. So I got a hold of the sprayer guys and down there, there's a wee yellow knob you can see. So that's a valve down there, control for flow. You're not meant to manually turn it, but it wasn't working. So to wind it right the way down, came back into the cab, started getting going, and then it sorted itself out. It must have been stuck right in the end position, it must have wound its way right the way out and got far, too far to the end and got stuck. Bit of a weird one, a waste of an hour, but 
bun now is fixed and it's working. Right, I'm currently sat next to a set of rollers which are dumped in a field because they won't fold up. Because someone, who wasn't me, Dunk or Kev, broke them. <laughs> That's meant to be dead straight, it's actually sheared. Oh. This arm folds up like this, that slots down there and this piece hooks over the top there. And then that one's meant to, but it can't because it's goosed. What it's meant to look like, what it now looks like. Anyway, at least it happened once we've finished the last field. So they're going to be abandoned there until we get around to fixing them. Just filling up, soaking up the water, shooting for 3,200 litres. Wheat prices update. <laughs> Nuts, absolutely nuts. Um, spot price right now, you could sell it for 340. Crazy. You can sell for September harvest time for 285 or something like that, 290 maybe. Which again is nuts. Theoretically, if we get decent yields, touch wood, this harvest uh, will be a good year. Because most of our production costs are ticked off and done. We got our fertilizer a while back. Okay, yeah, diesel's expensive, but seeds all on the ground, ferns all on the fields or in the shed. There's not too much variability there. But it's next year that's absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Ah, it's getting fat for next year. That's 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 the real. What the heck do we do there? Stab in the dark, with it. Not a scooby what's going on. Put it down below what you've done so far. Um, have you bought fertilizer for next year? Are you trying to buy fertilizer for next year? Have you sold wheat for this harvest coming? Are you locked in at a price? Are you holding still? And your reasoning for it. It only seems to be getting worse out in Ukraine. It kind of seemed early on, not, not that it wasn't not bad, it was very bad, but it seems to be a lot worse now, the conditions out there. And like earlier on, could have seen farmers still going out and getting their farm sorted out and looking after their crops but now when there's people just getting killed for no reason and tortured and all that stuff why would you go out and start spraying your wheat spreading fur on your wheat so that's kicking the price up Ugh, it's all absolutely mental isn't it we lorry over there just arrived for straw kev's just been picking up a load of silage and um, Spraying some oats. Window needs a clean. There we go. Four, four days later. Spraying's all caught up with. Spring oats will be next to spray, but no, sorry, winter oats will be next to spray, but wait till it warms up a wee bit and they're growing a bit more. No, only one, only one goes that side of the chassis that that that, that my fingers are on just now. And the other three come this side. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, we're just at the fort with here. The caves discovered that. This metal pipe, you can see it's rubbed down a bit. It's been rubbing on this hydraulic pipe. And obviously the braided, is, it's met the braided bit now. And now this pipe is wearing, so. Cable tied it to these big pipes down the bottom to hold it out of the way and we'll put a bit of grease on there. And we'll put it down and we'll see if it's still touching it. I think they made that pipe too short when they put it in. It should kind of go under these pipes maybe. So it can straight onto that block, but. Still interferes. We need to we need to pull it this way a bit and down rather than that way because it just hits other pipes. Attempt two, attempt three. That is a lot better. Put a bit of paint on it and we'll just see if, see over the next few days if it keeps rubbing or not. Hopefully that's it done. Kev's giving it a full grease, that's how he noticed that pipe that was rubbing. Probably been rubbing for a while. It all rubbed through the rubber of the flexi pipe and then got to the braided bit. And then the braided bit, because it's um, braided and there's more friction, it'll have started to rub away um, at, the, at the steel pipe that runs up the boom. I feel like I'm picking a lock here. I'm trying to get an o-ring out. This coupler's leaking a lot on the sprayer, so I'll place the O-ring, see what happens. Get a bit of grease on that. Use my fat thumbs instead. There's the issue. Snappy snappy. 
don't know if that's focused or not, but that's good. It's in. It's in like sin. Right, come on. This is the moment of truth. Slide in like a glove. Ooh, tight glove. Ah, tight glove, that's good. Right, start this up. No leaks, that's the plan. <laughs> No leaks yet. Haha. -ha. I think we have problem solved. Smash. This was the issue. It obviously worn down the base there and broken. I actually didn't know there was one of these in the couplers. I thought it was just a no ring. It's like a wee plastic washer. So I took a good one out of a return which doesn't get used and put it into the feed that we do use. You need to order one of these to replace the return that we don't use. So cheers for watching. Like and subscribe red button if you've not subscribed already yeah i think you can subscribe up in that corner click another video down there it's either that side or, the, or that side not too sure never get it right anyway cheers see you tomorrow